Well, none of this is really an argument about a man hitting a colleague because no hot food was available at the end of a long working day. It's more a battle in a national culture war. Clarkson is a general on one side of that war, a side that likes to feel it has to strike back at a liberal establishment. But for that liberal establishment, it's absurd for Clarkson to play the outsider. He is the white male establishment, lording it over everybody else from his Kensington home. He's a friend of the Prime Minister, for goodness sake. You heard the Prime Minister say that. Well, even if you're not interested in Clarkson, you might be interested in which side the establishment is these days. So I'm joined by television presenter Kirsty Alsop of Location, 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 and Owen Jones, Guardian columnist. Good evening to you both. Um, Kirsty, I mean, people have been commenting on how difficult it is for the BBC to lose a presenter who captures that particular section of the population who they say the BBC is a bit out of touch with. Do you buy that argument that yes. the Clarkson fan base is... We've got to start off by saying that if he did hit someone because they didn't provide him with supper, that is unacceptable. So that, that goes without saying. Yeah. But he has an enormous audience, an enormous audience. And, and the reason that I accepted the invitation to come on Newsnight is that my six-year-old, my eight-year-old, my 12-year-old and 15-year-old stepsons and my partner are all part of that audience. And it would be... He also brings in £50 million worth of revenue to the BBC every year and 200 different places show, you know, top gear. So there's an attraction there which can't be ignored. But do you think that audience, I just want to get at this point, is that audience somehow picked upon? Because part of the Clarkson persona is this kind of, oh, goodness sake, there they're all going again, you know, we're the common sense side and they're all these PC idiots getting in the way of I think people like a, me. I think Clarkson has fun with it. I think this is about, a lot of this is about humour and a lot of this bait has, has taken the humour out of it. It might be because he's done something unacceptable, but I think people are being pretty humourless about the whole thing. We need the Clarksons of this world, just the same as we need the Owens of this world. Face <laughs> three, face three, honestly. Well, Owen Jones, give On us a charm offensive give us, already. Give us, the, give us the, what you think of the persona and what, what, what its positioning is. Well, I mean, if we're talking about the Jeremy Clarkson, who's privately educated multi-millionaire, who's the highest paid BBC presenter, who has country suppers with our Conservative Prime Minister in Chipping Norton, the idea is not part of the establishment. Well, might as well take Sata out the back of the studio and punch it, allegedly. <laughs> and, you know, I think this is interesting how this is all spun in that way. There's a wider point about this, I think, which is this sense, basically, of in, if I was to sum up British society in one phrase... It would be one rule for those at the top and one rule for everybody else. You can see it everywhere, you know, bankers plunge the country into economic disaster, bailed out by the state, a benefit. You groan there almost. No, I though, didn't. I didn't. Oh, here we go. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You have benefit claiming at the bottom of society, benefits taken away on the most arbitrary way possible. Commit industrial tax avoidance, get away with it, bottom of society, benefit fraud. That's taken away. Oh, if you, Evan, and you, you seem, you, you seem like a mild, you seem argument. like a mild-mannered individual. I can't imagine you getting one of your lovely professional producers and punching them uh, for it's anything, let alone if your supper was late. If you did, the very least you would expect is to be kicked out of your job and possibly have the police involved right. for assault. I know these are allegations, but the other point is there's a long history of sexism, racism and homophobia. You are not, neither am I, a young black man who no. has to endure racism constantly in the, in the schools, the playground, the streets. Oh, he uses the N-word. Let Kirsty speak because I want it. He did use okay. the N-word. He used a stupid, idiotic rhyme, which very sadly was still in use when I was in the playground. Te no, it was. Do you know, it can, I, can I interrupt? Because I, I really don't want us to talk about Jeremy Clarkson. I really want us to talk Why? about... Well, that's what we're talking no, about. No, no, it's not, that actually. Would be an it's funny enough, it isn't. Away from. Oh, and you wrote a book about the establishment, and you had a very sort of narrow view of the establishment, which was the BBC and the House of Lords. No, and the real question is... not true. The, OK, OK, not okay I'm, I'm, I'm caricaturing. I'm in despair. But, but, the, but, the, but the, the, the caricature, the, 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 the point that... Clarkson stands for, in a way, is that there is such a thing as the liberal establishment. Yes, it's, there is. And isn't and there, or, or do you deny it? There is such a thing and as you're the part liberal of establishment. Well, uh, and I... just, uh, Clarkson 
is viewed and loved by many millions who are so far away from the establishment, so far away from the life he leads. He has a very wide appeal. I think the people who are the establishment in this country are people, yes, friends of the Prime Minister. If you're not uh, if you're having country supper the Prime Minister, you're not There's part of the establishment. Yeah, but, establishment. But, but we might as well give it. But also, but also, this is the people who run this country. It's people, I don't know, who have, en wait, let me finish, enormous wealth, the, the, you know, Sunday Times richness, the wealth of those top 1,000 people is doubled. Why is that relevant to this in the last, because we're talking about who runs the country. No, we're that's not. What we're talking, no, we're well, we not. Are. We're talking about is Clarkson representative? Should he be not? Protected? That's what you're talking about. No, that's no, not no. a question. It Evans is, is just okay. Okay. It's it's that similar Evan was though. talking. But look, Owen, oh, is it not possible there are different establishments? This is the point I'm trying to get at, and that you're part of an establishment. I Let's mean, call well, it the Guardian can I, establishment. Can I give well, you an example, Owen? Well, I'm going to answer his question, Kirsty, okay. first. Can I okay. do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, just. I would love to imagine in this uh, society of mine, I believe in things like public ownership of rail, energy, a living wage, for example. Uh, I believe in, uh, in, in, in that the rich should pay their taxes properly. As much as I'd love these views to be dominant in society, they're very much on the fringe. Those who believe, like Jeremy Clarkson does, in argument like, you know, I don't know, public sector work is being demonised, uh, ethnic minorities being stigmatised, all of these things. If you want to read the Mail, the Sun, the Telegraph, okay. then you have more, yes. your opinions are more than representative. That is the dominant views by the, much of the establishment. The, I'm afraid I'm on the side of the The establishment is probably... 5,000 people at the top. I wouldn't for a second disabuse many of the things you've said about the establishment. Jeremy Clarkson is watched not just by millions, but by hundreds of millions of people. People so far away from his Oxfordshire estate. And, and I, he amuses And can people. I just say, for you, this is the problem about one rule for those at the top and one rule for everybody else. You are saying that if you are in a position of power, you can say no, things I'm like... Not. No, 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 let me... I've not justified well, let what me he's ask, done. Let me, well, then he should be sacked. No, I ne I'm if, not here if, to argue against if, him if being you, sacked. If you punch someone in your workplace... Uh, Owen, and you I are said much at the loved beginning, yeah. I'm not so making people. the argument that what he did was right. What I'm saying is that we should not okay. sweep away the Clarksons of this well, world. We We're going to leave it there. I'm as long so as they don't sorry. punch their, if their, their members as of staff and they are, don't punch and are homophobic stuff. and racist it's on it's national yeah. television. What is amazing is how much this discussion just goes on. I, I've been having this all day, conversations like this. It's extraordinary. Owen, Kirsty, thank you both very much.